Welcome to channel 69, and you have Big Hurt with the Ghetto Report. What's up? Big Hurt back with the Ghetto Report. We're going to do a little entertainment news. Now listen, if y'all been under a rock and ain't been following what's going on with, with Diddy, with um, Sean P. Diddy Combs, I'm going to have to fill y'all in. So basically, you know that um it started off with Cassie Felon. An essay complained against the man and he settled with Cassie the next day. And then we had a slew of people coming forward and saying that, you know, he did. He essayed them and a whole bunch of different allegations. But right. the latest allegation by one of his producers, um, Rodney Jones, um, has been explosive. You know, in, in the 70-something in the, in the, in the page brief, he laid out all type of allegations and claims against Diddy and they had dramatic effect. You know, y'all seen recently that P. Diddy's homes was raided by the Homeland Security and all that and they was looking for certain stuff to corroborate whether he was doing like sexual, sexual aid people and all type of things, you know, human trafficking, just a whole bunch of different allegations. We like to say everybody is innocent to proven guilty, so we don't want to, you know, we just reporting news here and we're not taking any stance on it because we was arguing at the Getter Report because the police are not really coming forward and saying what they investigating, what the allegations specifically are. We just going by the complaint that was filed and we're assuming that it was based on this complaint. We don't know if it's other evidence of a mitigating factor that the police are taking into account, but we're going to just talk about what we have in front of us. So basically, we want to talk about, um, you know, an associate of Pete Diddy's was arrested at the airport after um, Rodney said in his complaint that this person was actually a drug mule for Pete Diddy. So the person was arrested, I think his name was Brandon Paul, he used to be an ex-basketball player for Syracuse University. And they saying that he was arrested at Miami Dade Airport, allegedly while he was getting on the on the plane with drugs concealed in his luggage, how Little Rod said that he um, was transporting drugs. And this is what we was arguing at the Ghetto Report. Let's say Diddy does get high, whatever, indulge in marijuana, or whatever, ecstasy, whatever drugs, you know what I'm saying? Paraphernalia. He really can't go cop this stuff himself. So he has a friend of his copping for him. This is regular stuff in the hood. Listen, you go, you coming through, bring some weed over, bring some whatever. So I don't know if, if labeling a man as a drug mule, an alleged drug mule, Bruh. is really, you know what I'm saying, the right label to put on somebody because y'all friends and you bring some weed over and y'all get high. So, you know, it's just... It's a hell of a thing when people take things out of context, you know. They saying, in, in, in the paperwork that, that the Ghetto Reporter has got a copy of and we went through, they saying that Paul allegedly procured and transported and distributed ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, mushrooms, and Tusi for Diddy and his luggage and stuff. If you don't know what Tusi is, that's a synthetic drug that was it's a cocktail of, of a bunch of different drugs. It's supposed to be LSD, MDMA, ketamine, GHB, and caffeine. All the stuff is mixed together. Bruh. And what they do is, they used to say that this was pink cocaine because they dyed pink. And basically, the person who came up with this stuff, they dyed it pink for effect and all that. And it became popular in Europe and South America. But that's what Tucci is. And um, I guess it's caught, on, it's caught on over here because, you know, everything over here is like, it's fashionable. So if this pink cocaine, let's try it. But it's not actually cocaine. It's a mix of a, a whole bunch of other drugs, basically. And the creator of Tucci, who was a female drug dealer, she said she wanted to do the color pink as a marketing ploy. So basically, it's not pink cocaine. It's Tucci, and that's what it's about. So we want to get into some things that was alleged in the filing by um, Little Rod. The most explosive contention, with this, which is in the complaint, dealt with several lines in the complaint. Now, the complaint was filed on February 26, 24, right? And that's case number. If y'all want to order the complaint yourself, 124CV0. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. They heard, we want to give y'all a quick hood public service announcement. Like what we've been doing at the channel, you know what I'm saying? Stay Fly Nation. Subscribe, put some subs on there, you know what I'm saying? Participate. And if y'all want to see Big Hurt in any type of situation, holler at us and tell them what you'd like to see Baby Paul and Big Hurt in. Big Hurt and Baby Paul can tell everything. 1457. So, you know, under the Freedom of Information Law, you can order this complaint yourself and go through it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to let's wait for people to bring you information. Because here at the Ghetto Report, we like to tell people, you know, do independent research. That way, when you talk about certain things, you'll be informed and you won't be just taking what somebody else say. Always independent research is good. So, the most explosive parts of the, um, the complaint, it says that Mr. Jones is alleging that. Sean P. Diddy Combs had engaged in sexual intercourse with a rapper. Now the rapper's name in the complaint is redacted. And everybody's assuming that the rapper was allegedly Meek Mill. They said also that he indulged with an R&B singer, which that name was redacted, and they trying to 
Brown. say that allegedly the R&B singer was Usher. So people are just putting who they think these people are because they don't say their names in, in the complaint. The only name that is stated in the complaint is Stevie J's. Now y'all know who Stevie J is. Stevie J is, is basically the one of the hitmen used to work with Bad Boy and also he's a um, reality TV personality. His real name is Steven Aaron Jordan. So you know, it's funny that Stevie J's name wasn't redacted. I don't know if Little Rod has a thing against Stevie J because why would you say his name and redact the other name? But in any event, you know that he said that he admired Stevie J because he wanted to produce like Stevie J and did he use his admiration for Stevie J to have Stevie J allegedly groom him into coming in and um, indulging in some homosexual activity. So that's the whole thing that Little Rod is saying that he was pressured into indulging in homosexual activity, allegedly by um, P. Diddy. So that's what's going on. And that was the basis of the complaint where everybody's alleging that um, Meek Mill is the um, rapper that's redacted, that Usher is the singer that's redacted. We don't really know. But in any event, Lil Rod said that he was coerced to say that if you indulge in these activities, he'll make sure that he's wins producer of the year at the Grammys. Listen, that's a lot to give up for producer of the year, so <laughs> I don't know, I guess. That's why Little Rod was like, listen, I'm not going for that. But also, you know, Little Rod amended his complaint and it got even more explosive. Cause he also alleged that Young Miami, allegedly, and the baby mother of 50 Cent, who her name is Daphne Joy, was allegedly paid a stipend and they worked as sex workers for Diddy. They paid them, they were paid a monthly stipend and they worked as sex workers. We gotta say basically that, you know, Young Miami and Daphne has vehemently denied these claims. Daphne said that these claims were 100% false and they're actually looking into seeing if they can sue Little Raw for a defamation. So we don't know, this is all alleged, so we don't know what's true and what's false, but we just saying though, no, it's a hell of a thing, you know. It gives them a little, a little light on why 50 Cent be going at Diddy like that, you know, because everybody always wonder why 50 Cent troll this man so hard? He goes at him relentlessly, so everybody's speaking that they think that the beef started when Daphne started hanging out with Diddy. You know, Daphne posted a, a photo a while ago where she was in the water with Diddy and 50 Cent went right on and, and made a caption with his son saying, yo, your mommy's hanging out with Diddy and saying, look at these chicks, they real stupid. He's made a caption like that. So they, everybody believes that's where the beef started. That's why 50 Cent goes so hard at um, Diddy because he's upset about the relationship that he had with Daphne. 50 also went on when the, when the allegations came out that she was a paid escort, allegedly, saying, oh, that's what you do, you know what I'm saying? So he said he's filing for custody of his son based on it being a dangerous environment for his son living with his um, baby's mother. And she went on to say that she had some, some new allegations herself saying that she was allegedly sexually assaulted by 50. And 50 said that's 100% false through his lawyer. So it's getting real messy out there. And you know, they was pulling up old interviews with Young Miami where she was saying, you know, I'm a whore. And you know, a lot of the stuff I think Young, Young Miami was saying that in her songs that she prostituted and all that, I think that was to sell music. And it was for um, shock effect. I don't think that she really meant that or they thought that they would use this against her. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful what you say out your own mouth because it can come back to bite you in your ass. You know what I'm saying? But anything, we hope that the truth comes out because we don't know what the truth is. So we're not side standing on anybody's side. We're just reporting here to get a report. We will say that um, Diddy has hired the Z Maxwell's ex-attorney, Bobby Stein, I think his name is. We don't know why he would hire Bobby because Bobby kind of lost all the cases that he had, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> With Jeffrey Epstein and all that and then Maxine, because Maxine got 20 years. But Diddy, listen, you might need like the team that OJ had, like a dream team, you know what I'm saying? So listen, if you need some advice, holler at the Ghetto Report because we got a lot of ex-offenders that's working here and they might be able to give you some advice. Now this was Big Hurt with another edition of the Ghetto Report. It's Big Hurt and I'm out. What's up? It's, yo, what's up? Give me a minute. You know what it is. It's easy peasy. What's up, y'all? It's easy peasy. Yo, listen. And you know what I'm saying? I got. The, I'm rocking the, the the cowboy Carter joint. The album dropped. I got tickets to a listening party. You know, easy plugged in with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all the album is fire. You know what I'm saying? I was at the listening party. But anyway, let me get back to the hustle. Listen, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Miss Shortfoot, she's selling the dinners again in the project. You know what I'm saying? We got a menu now, and she told me to promote the menu. Just hit my line. I'm gonna be bringing the food. Everything is what the price it was before. But we increase the joint now. This time, everything, every, everything you order come with a pre-roll and, and a nutcracker. So, you know what I'm saying? So get your bids in early because we're going to be rocking every weekend from Thursday to Monday morning. So listen, you know what I'm saying? Miss Shortfoot said, get out there, holler at her. It's easy. And I'm out.